it just seemed to come to me. Things that I wanted to do or planned in life just seemed to happen for me. Uh, someone told me that the music is better off with me in it than without me. Mm -hmm. So walking down the hall one day at the University of the District of Columbia where my math class did not meet and bumping into a young man by the name of Harold White and he said, well, would you help me out at the radio station where I go to my class? I was like, sure, I don't have anything else to do. So I went in there and uh, he showed me how to put a record on, you know, we had the box. Yeah, yeah. The records, the turntables, you know, the albums, you know, the vinyl and all that. So that's all I saw. And then, so on the turntable was Frankie Beverly Mays. And I said, Yeah, what you said we're playing jazz. So I said, Well, I'll just take this off and put on some Dexter Gordon because they had just signed Dexter Gordon at Blues Alley in Georgetown. Mm -hmm. And after that, the fellas who were there operating the station decided that they needed to train me, show me how to become a radio announcer. And so I left my nursing degree on the shelf and received a degree in mass media journalism and you know print journalism and all that. And so I thank God for the opportunity and I thank my parents, my mom especially, who what made me go to college, made sure that you know I, I got a degree. And also my advisor who said, hey, maybe you can get your degree before I die. And so I finally did and graduated.